Hey guys, W. Thomas here, bringing you a video today in regards to Steemit and delegating Steam power. So, a few weeks ago, or it's probably been about a month now, I've been on Steam, and I am really excited about Steam and what it has to offer, uh, the potential, the community, it, it's, it's really fantastic. So, the other day, um, I saw this post about delegating Steam power to another user. And I thought this was extremely useful. And I thought I would go ahead and uh, create a video and show you guys how easy it is to delegate Steam power. Now, if you're not familiar with Steemit, Steemit is a social media website that pays you for your content and for your comments and for finding information or finding other articles and upvoting them. Um, so, you know, if you're using other platforms right now, like Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, Instagram, you know, you're already putting your stuff out there, but you're not getting paid. So why not get paid? And that's what I like about um, Steemit. So, I'm going to use Ken Bozak's profile. Um, Ken has been very helpful. Um, he puts out some really awesome posts. And, you know, I was really impacted this week by one of the posts um, in regards to creating um, how to create thumbnails for YouTube. And based on that video, I was able to create... Um, a thumbnail for this video today and for my past couple videos um, I was able to get um, a sketch a photo sketch um, from Fiverr based on his recommendation um, so I'm really thankful for Kenneth uh, for pointing um, us in that direction and without his help I wouldn't have been able to do that so thank you Kenneth for that and for the, uh, because of that I am going to be uh, using your um, Steemit profile today, and I'm going to delegate 200 Steam power uh, to your account as part of this demonstration. Okay. So I'll also place in the description of this video a link to this tutorial, and um, that way you can uh, follow it and um, you could do the same thing that I'm doing today in this video. It is super easy. Um, there are three steps and all you got to do is just follow those instructions and um, get it taken care of. So you will need to do a little bit of math. Um, you can use a calculator so don't worry, don't panic. I'm not a... Uh, math is not one of my favorite subjects. So I was able to get it accomplished and um, it's pretty simple. So the first step is that you will be, um, you'll have to convert your Steam Power to what is called VEST, V-E-S-T-S, -S, okay? And you would go to this website right over here. And let me try and maximize my screen a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on here. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so um, you'll go to this link steamd.com and it'll look like something like this and what we're looking for is we're looking for the steam per mves value okay and it's over here the steam per mves value is currently 482.976 and you can jot that down um, it does change so Whenever you go in to allocate or um, you want to delegate Steam Power to someone, um, you need to go to this website and check what the current value is for um, MVES. Okay, so we're going to calculate uh, 1000000 and we're going to divide that by that value right here and then we're going to multiply that by the amount of steam that you want to delegate. So I'm going to delegate um, 200 steam power 
um, to Ken Bozak's profile. Okay, so I have my calculator here. All right, put that number in. One million divided by four eight two point nine seven six times two hundred. And 200 is the amount of steam power that I'm going to allocate. All right, so I need to round or trim this number so it's exactly six digits. Uh, there's no need for me to round or trim anything because I do have six digits um, after the decimal. So 251309. You'll enter this entire value right here. Okay, so let me jot that down four one four zero nine nine, and then we have a decimal two five one three zero nine. Okay. Of course, you want to make sure you have the um, at least the amount of power in your account, obviously, before you can power up um, someone else. Uh, there's an example uh, here. Now, step two is the URL. So we copy this URL. Okay. And then you'll plug in your information. You're the delegator. We'll need to plug in the delegatee's information um, and then the amount from the math problem we did earlier. Okay. And then we'll get this pop up here, which shows us the information that we entered, and then we'll continue. Pretty simple. Now, there is a warning on this website. So it's very important that you know that in order to complete the transaction, you will need to enter one of your active keys or your password for the Steam website. Um, as always, you want to be very careful when providing your active keys to any website or any third-party API. Okay, so that's because you know with that information. Um, anyone can gain access to your account. So it's very important that you, you always secure that information. And if you do provide it to, um, or you give permission to third party websites that you fully trust them, okay? All right, so I did copy this link and I will paste it here and I will change the information here. Okay, so in the very first part of the URL, I'll put my information, that's my Steam account name, I'm the delegator, and then for the delegatee, I'll put in Ken's information. Kenneth Bozak, all right. And then you type in the value from your math calculation. And I had 414099, and you put the decimal, 251309. Okay, and then you hit enter. All right, so there's your confirmation screen. I'm the delegator. This is the delegatee, and this is the amount of uh, steam that I'm uh, I'm allocating. 
So it's invest, and that converts to the amount of um, steam power. Hit continue, and then I'll need to authenticate. And I'll pause the video for a second so I can get that information. Alrighty. So I have obtained my information. And let's confirm. Put in my password. And as you can see, um, on Ken's profile, he has 53.971 Steam before I process the delegate uh, transaction. Transaction is successful. And I'll refresh his account. And this, you should see an indicator here that Steam has been uh, delegated to his account. All right, there it is. 200 Steam has been uh, delegated to his account. Um, delegated Steam will stay delegated until you actually go back in and remove it. Um, of course, Steam that is delegated um, cannot be powered down um, because it's, it's not theirs. It's just delegated to them. Um, so it's pretty simple. So. If you guys have any friends out there who are whales, who have a lot of steam, and you know they're going on vacation, or they they would like to delegate some of that to you, um, maybe you can share this uh, video with them. All right, guys. Um, so that was pretty simple. Um, didn't require much effort. Um, be sure to check out Ken Bozak's uh, steam profile, and he's also on. Uh, YouTube as well, so definitely follow him as well. All right, guys, if you like this video, please um, thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like the video, thumbs down. Um, but of course, let me know how I can improve my video. And any questions, please drop me a comment. All right, thank you guys. Until next time, peace.